more. The village track there opposite a thatch cottage, which is there. Up these steps, a lady, fortunately a lady went by just at the right time. She told me there's a new fence. This will take me up. So I'm not actually exploring the village today because I have done it before. Um, there's a few stinging nettles. So this is all exploring this part of the walk. Just finding new ways to get up. Like I said, I've never done this particular route before, so it's always exciting when you're doing something new. And I'm glad I came into the village and I met that lady just at the right time. I might have spotted this, I might not have. It was quite concealed. I'll probably have to put my hat on quite early, I think, today. Oh, I can see a, a little machine there. Look, it's um, a lawn cutter. Look at that. I don't think I've actually seen one in action before. Where is it? Yeah, over there. Where is it? There it is, look. It's coming over to see me. Look. Isn't that good? I don't know, it might just be a, somebody with a battery operated vehicle. Could be a guard. I don't think it is a lawnmower. Come over to see me. Hello. Are you on guard duty, are you? Are you on guard duty? Oh. That's sweet, aren't you? I'm going through the first field. Already it's very hot. It's probably only about nine o'clock in the morning. That's a lovely big tall tree, isn't it? Some sort of fir. Fern tree. Oak trees here. Look at that. So this is me exploring a new pathway. It's nice to do new routes. Crocombe's got good um, bus stop as well, actually. So, it's another way of picking up the bus. I'm not going to, apparently it's all uphill. Basically what I'm going to be doing is just a little bit of video, just to introduce you. I just spoke to a nice gentleman then who pointed me in the right direction. And I can see the gate now. And uh, I'm a very thin woman a minute ago, very brown, very fit. She's been already, already out on a run. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? So this is Sheila. This is the 8th of August, 2022. And it could reach 25 degrees today, if not more. But basically, out of the whole week, this is supposed to be the coolest day, although tomorrow there's more cloud. Well, I will be getting out on a few walks this week. Believe me. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute. Right, so it comes from a gate over there. I decided to walk in the shade a bit going up because apparently you've got to go right up so I thought I'd stay in the shade for as long as I could going up uh, I can I think I can just make out a pole up there 
it's going to be very hot today. But all this woodland around here, I think, is to do with the Crocombe Park. And, uh, I mean, look at that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? There's always another way to come back, you see, if I wanted to do, I can always pick the bus up at Crocombe. Um, as opposed to a bit not, I see. I can do this again. I can see the path coming up from the gate, but I've kept in the shade a bit and I'm doing an angle. I'm doing a bit of a zigzag on purpose. Right, I'm not going to video me walking in the heat. Um, I will be putting the hat on very soon though. But look at this gorgeous scene before I turn off everyone. This is Crocombe, the village is further down. There's a shop, there's a pub, there's a church, there's a manor house. I've done, I've visited the church in the past um, by com coming off the top and coming down Crocom Hill. I've done, I've visited it twice, I believe. Uh, and it'll keep for another time. It'll keep for another time. <sighs> yeah, so this is good. Finding more roots. Very good indeed. Now we've got to go up to find the next gate. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn off now, folks, while I climb this hot bit. Right, folks. Over now. I must remember to make sure I hear the buzzer when I turn on the recorder because I'm missing out. Tapes aren't being done. There's lots of gaps in my tapes because I forget to listen to the recorder. Anyway, here we are. Here we have a beautiful Somerset. Beautiful summer setting in the far distance, there will be X more over these hills. I've just come up from there, but I zigzagged. I went in the shade for a bit, then zigzagged up. Right, here we are. We've got up the top. Got to do a bit of editing on this video. It's all kept though. Originals are all kept. Right, so we've got through the gate. As you can see, we're going up and up and up. And we're in the shade for a little while now. There's an easy jet up there. We're in the shade. And we're heading for Hurley Beacon. I've got no idea how far up it's gonna be. All I know is once I get to Hurley Beacon, and I'm going round Truscombe Wood, by the way. I've been down the other side of it in the past. And I've walked up the other side and it's very steep the other side. Um, it's nearly time to take the top off and have a drink. I'm going to stop at this log. I'm going to stop at this convenient log to take one layer off. Get the hat. No, I don't need the hat yet. Have a drink. Right, over and out for a minute, everyone. Right, so I'm starting to climb up um, Hurley Beacon, I think. Might not be the beacon yet, I'm not sure. But right over there in the distance, towards West Bagborough, is um, the hill. Uh, I had it on my mind a minute ago. Anyway, it's a hill, big hill. And uh, that's Triscombe and West Bagger over that way. Will's Neck. Will's Neck. That's right, the big hill in the far distance is Will's Neck. 
And then all the fields over there that you see where some more trees are, I've walked all across all these, uh, coming up um, different barrows from Truscombe before now. I did it last year. So I always like to do something new every time I come out. Now that looks like a, a beacon, doesn't it? That one there. Little one, another one there. You can just see the shapes. But until I get to what I call the top, I can't really tell where I am yet. My hurly beacon could be further over. Not sure. So anyway, we're on, we're going up. Uh, the heather's slow to emerge. There's very dried looking bracken now, not very rich and lush at all here, but then it's very exposed here. Little bit of gorse, a few butterflies fluttering. But you can see how dry it's been. A lot of the bracken is already brown. Down there, I was down in a hut, by a hut down there, the village hall cricket ground and hut down there. And there's a track that leads along. It's called the Greenway. And I wouldn't be surprised if it don't come up from there up. I wouldn't be surprised if the, that Greenway route don't come up here as well. Do you know what I mean? But I'm glad I've done it this way up. Because this is the way I led to believe was the way up. But like all signs, they disappear once you get to the top. The sign didn't really say anything, but there was an obvious track. So, this, it, though you think this is the top, it might not be. <laughs> might not be the top. I'll know when I'm up there, I'll know. Because I will recognize Paradise Coombe, Bicknoller Coombe, Weecombe Hill. It's good we've done that heavy hill first and early, early ish, before midday. I'll be in the shade by, by midday. Yeah, everything's coming into to feature now. Look at it all here now, look. Looking a bit lusher up the top here. Yeah, we've done it. We've walked right down there. I've come off the road right down there. I've done it. I'm getting to know my hills more and more and more and more and more. And I reckon I'll be curving up around there in a minute. All these are individual burrows as we go up. The Quantox really is one big burial, ancient burial ground. Maybe the tribes of Exmoor use this as the burial place. Yes, that's why it's so sacred, it's so special, so spiritual here. So peaceful, so beautiful, so tranquil, so serene. I can only just make out Minehead with its white tent over there on North Hill with the naked eye. I can just make out Dunkery Beacon in the mist in, in the distance. And of course all these other villages I haven't of course really explored their churches or anything because I haven't got a vehicle now. It's all part of Somerset this. Right? Now, we're not going straight across, although that will take you to the halfway Halsway point. So there you are, there's another way. I reckon this could be the Greenway, you know. You know, I saw the Greenway route. I saw a route coming up. I reckon you could do it this way as well. I nearly went down that way once to have a look because I've been here before. I've been on this crossroad. That takes you to the Hullsway Post. Um, so we're not going there. Look at the blonde grass. Look. We're going up there to the top of Hurley Beacon now. Then we'll go on to North Hill and the Trig Point. We're doing very well. I'm, I'm very pleased with what I'm doing. 
Very pleased. I've got to stop and take a picture now of this junction point.